Hello, my name is Kelly Bublis, Job Superintendent for Go Construction in the Kreisinga Art Museum. I thought I'd give you a little tour of the job site, the project that's underway, and uh, what's going on. So, let's go for a walk. As we're walking, I'll try to describe what uh, what's going on out here. What you see here in front of you, this used to be 11th Street right here, straight ahead. He runs right down that way, and on the other side of that dirt pile is 11th Street as well. Some job trailers. Here's where the mason mixes his, his mortar, his saw. And then this is our uh, screen wall area. This could be a tran uh, transformer change out back there against the back wall next to that emergency generator. It'll be a new emergency generator right here on this pad. And then the new chiller for the art museum and Dupree will sit on that pad. And then where you see the foundation wall will be a screen wall that comes up and will hide all that. And then there will be a gate right there by the old boiler room wall where you see the opening at the end of the foundation wall. As you can see at the building here, on the other side of that wall is Gallery A. The walls are up and braced. We're uh, coordinating with the steel, suppli steel supplier, manufacturer, and erector to be here on the 29th of September to come and start swinging steel for the roof. We come around here to the west. This is the, the front of the building. You can see the four columns there. That's to be the lobby and the entryway. And then this is Gallery B on the northwest corner. There's Tim, our Mason's foreman. Hard at work getting his braces out ready to go. To brace the walls that they're laying up now. So they're working on the north end of the building here. Bear with me with the train. That's one of about eight to ten trains that goes by a day. So they're working on the north end of the building, Gallery B. We'll have those walls laid up today, today being Friday. I believe it's the 19th of September. And then we'll be moving down here to the end of the gallery and the loading dock area. Stay out of that guy's way. And this is the loading dock area here. So we'll go up and take a walk around the main level floor. This is the overhead door opening here. We'll walk in. This will be the receiving area. There's a wall right here where these conduits are. That will separate the bathrooms from this receiving area. Come back out here to the front. This is our elevator shaft. You can get an idea. We'll walk in from the receiving. You'll be able to take your materials, parts and pieces, and go down into the elevator. And then the door will be on the opposite edge of the um, elevator shaft to go down into what they call the prep area in the lower level and down into storage.
this room we're walking into to the south of the receiving area you can see where the wood stops that's protecting the polished floors there's a stud wall that'll be right here and that separates the offices and the, the uh, meeting area conference room from this will be kind of an art storage rack area so there'll be racks in here that paintings or something can hang off of um, for storage there so we'll kind of there'll be a doorway right here we're going to go through the doorway into this little hallway will be a hallway this is a mechanical chase so there'll be a wall right here and this will be the ductwork that feeds uh, exhaust fans and piping they'll come up from the lower level in the basement so what you see out here is the front of the building this will be the vestibule entryway there'll be a set of doors here and a set of doors in the exterior and then this will be the lobby entryway so you'll walk in and like I said there will be offices and a conference area back here and then there'll be a little wall back there underneath that red beam and there'll be a reception area right here and then this will be the bathroom. So you'll walk in here, like so, and there'll be a bathroom on the left and a bathroom on the right. And then the wall back there that we saw earlier that separates the bathrooms from the storage area, or the receiving area, I'm sorry. And a little janitor's closet right here in this corner. As you come into the building, back to the front, you can go left or right. Right takes you over to Gallery A, which just is Gallery A. Walls are up, braced, waiting for steel. So you can get an idea of what the gallery looks like. This will be all furred out and have um, plywood and then uh, drywall on it. And then this goes around to the back toward that receiving area again, or to the um, loading dock. And that's what this door opening is here. This will be an exterior door that goes out to the loading dock area. So we'll go back into Gallery A, walk around back to the front. And we'll go into Gallery B. And this is Gallery B, to the left of the reception area. And here's where the mace is working now, laying out block walls. This gallery is a little larger than Gallery A. You get kind of an idea. And they should have this wall laid up, topped off here today. And then we'll come around here. There's a large door that will be an interior door. It goes from the receiving area into this gallery space. And then there'll be another set of doors, just like you see on the opposite side of the loading dock that will be right here that we haven't laid up yet. You can see the wall ties here. This, this will tie in the masonry wall that runs perpendicular to this, ex, this wall here. And there'll be a door frame there. All right, that's about it for the main level. We'll take a walk downstairs get an idea of what's going on downstairs in the lower level. This will be a set of exterior steps. These are temporary steps you see here now. Floor drain down here at the bottom. There will be a door frame in this opening. And you'll come in and there's a hallway. You go left or right. So we'll go up take a right and you can see the piping that's been put in. This is all uh, heating and cooling piping. Some duct work in the air. We've got our sewer pipe. This is our overflow drain. This will be an opening that will be the um, fire department connection coming in. And then this is a mechanical room. The steam piping will be coming in right there. That's coming in from Martha Miller across to the north there.
and then there'll be heat exchangers and pumps and all kinds of mechanical equipment down in this space here. So you can see we're starting to get some ductwork up in the air and piping up in the air. And you can see here the ductwork is all going to be ran from below that feeds the galleries above. That's what those are up there. And those were cast into the concrete when we poured the concrete, those duct openings. We've got a couple sump pits here, a sewer sump and a uh, storm sump pump. The sewer sump is for the floor drains here in the, um, in the basement and the elevator pit and the storm pump or storm sump pump, storm sump pit takes the water from the um, um, footing drains that run around the perimeter of the building. So these were cast into the, these were the first things we cast when we poured our concrete out here. So that's the mechanical room. Take a walk on down the hallway here. We're on the kind of on the north end of the building. And this is all going to be storage. So what you see here is storage space. So the duct works up. And this is underneath the gallery B on the north end of the building. We've got a load of ductwork looks like showed up here yesterday, so they'll start putting that up in the air. And this storage space continues on around here to the west, and now we're facing south. And to the left here is what they're going to call the prep room. So that's that elevator shaft that comes down from the receiving area above. So parts and pieces and sculptures and whatever needs to be stored in the basement will come down that elevator shaft and right here into this prep area and they can prep it and put it into storage. So there'll be a countertop and sink right here on this wall. And then on around here, this room is the elevator equipment room. So not much to look at there, but just a small room. Nothing can be stored in that. That's all elevator equipment there. So back out of the prep room, back into the storage to the west, just before we go in there, there's a stairwell here, and this goes up to that receiving area. So the concrete's been poured and the stairs are in for that. We got a little cleanup to do on the walls there, but. And on around the storage area here, this is the area underneath the vestibule entryway. here, more ductwork. Morning. Morning. I'm giving a tour. So this is the uh, rest of the storage area for the building. We're facing on the south end of the building. Those lines over there go out to Dupree. Those are chilled water and heating hot water return and supply lines. So they go underground over to that debris area, to those uh, to that chiller area, that's that pad. Come on down the hallway here. This is the electrical room. Nice space to get in and out of. You see we're getting a lot of our equipment put in, our gear. Doesn't look like we do much down here in the basement, but there's a lot of work taking place that you can't see from above. And then this room here is our air handler room. So here's the air handler for the job. We had to get that down here in the hole before we set our precast. But you can see the duct work that's going in here and the coordination with everybody, the mechanical, electrical trades. And then this is that chase I was talking about that goes up. We were missing that wall in before. Goes up through that wall missing there, goes into that kind of that office uh, conference room area. So that wall will be eventually be laid up and closed off. Yeah. So then we're right around the corner here to this stairwell area. We'll go up the stairs and back out. And that's about the Chrysler Art Museum is, as of right now, on September 19th.
and we're back out into that receiving area. So.